Welcome to our channel Balanda Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn that how we can create the procedural dirty metal material in Blender with the help of nodes. And here you can see that I add the different node to create this procedural material. And here I plug in all the required value into the uh, group input node. And by pressing tab, here you can see the custom node group of the procedural dirty metal material. And here you can control the color metal color dirt color and also the other parameter and if i change the metal color then you can see the color is changed and here is the dirt color you can see we can easily change the dirt color according to our requirement and here is the metallic value by increase and decrease you can change the metallic value according to your requirement and this is the dirt variations which create the different pattern of the dirt. Beautiful. And this is the roughness. By increasing and decreasing this value, you can easily increase or decrease the roughness. And the last is the pump settlement. And if you want to purchase this material along with all of my other materials, then you can visit my Patreon page, Governor Store, and also Blender Market. From where you can purchase all of my material which I created. So let's start. First, I open the blender and uh, set up the scene. And here you can see that this is the TDB port. And here I am in camera view and also in a rendered view. And uh, this is the icosphere. And here you can see this is the highly subdivided object. And uh, this is the shader editor. And here you can see I rename this material procedural dirty metal material, which is I am going to create. And here is the newly version of principal PSDF in Blender 4.0. And here I add some node to create the procedural dirty metal material. By pressing Shift A, here I add the musgrave texture and place the musgrave texture something like here. And by pressing Ctrl T, this will be at the texture coordinate and the mapping. And here I use the object coordinate. Beautiful, and this is due to the node regular add on. And if you want to enable the node regular add on, then you go to the edit and here in preferences. And here in add on, you just type here node and check mark the node regular add on. And by select the musgrave texture, press Ctrl Shift and select this. You can preview the musgrave texture. This is also the node regular add on. Here I want to change some values of the musgrave texture. Here I choose the type multifractal, and here I increase the scale uh, up to something like 10, and here I increase the detail up to 14, and here I decrease the dimension to 0. Beautiful. And uh, now I add a color ramp. By pressing shift a here i search for color ramp and place the color ramp something like here and here i change the color and choose this pointer and here i change this color something like uh, this kind of color and also decrease this to make it more dark beautiful and here i change this color to some light brown beautiful now it's look better nice and uh, here i connect the principal bsdf and here i increase the metallic up to one because i am going to create the procedural dirty metal material nice and here i add some more nodes by pressing shift a here i add the noise texture and place the noise texture uh, something like here and uh, here you can see the another option in blender 4.0 noise texture look narrative. this is the not present before the blender update here i use the mapping of the vector into the noise texture and by selecting this control shift to preview the noise texture and here i also change some values uh, here i 
increase the scale up to 10 and here i increase the detail up to 14 and uh, here i increase the roughness 0.6 beautiful and uh, now i want to mix both these musgrave and noise texture so for that select the noise texture and by pressing control select the musgrave texture and press control zero this will be at the mix to mix these two shaders and here i adjust uh, some value and here i add the color ramp so for that by pressing shift a here i add the color ramp and place the color ramp something like here and i plug in this color ramp into the roughness beautiful and here i set the roughness choose this black pointer and uh, make it more bright to decrease the roughness uh, something like this beautiful also decrease uh, some value like this nice and uh, here i want to add uh, some bumps so for that here i select this value because uh, this mix uh, mix the noise texture and musgrave texture so i use this value into the normal beautiful and here you can see that this is the shading issue because this is the color data and this is the normal data to convert this here i add the bump node and place the bump node something like here and also the normal into the height beautiful and here you can see the material is too punch bumpy here i decrease the strength uh, something like 0 0.02 beautiful nice and here you can see our procedural dirty metal material is ready and by pressing f12 you can view in rendered and here you can see the final render of the procedural dirty matter material thanks for watching